Okay, this is a video on um, the the uh, old age or the social security tax limits and then the uh, Medicare or the HI limits. And then I'm gonna show you if they just have a basic annual salary but is over the limit, as well as what if they're self-employed or what if they're a mix. So I have some examples here spelled out. So if Bob has an annual salary of $150,800 and he is just an employee, so he's not self-employed, how much um, of that old age uh, social security tax is he gonna pay? So the key is you have to know the annual limit. So the annual limit that I'm looking at right now is 2021. If you're watching this video at, an, at another year, it's obviously gonna go up over time. But so the 2021 limit is 142,800. And then the rate, since he's an employee, his, he pays half and his employer pays half, it is 6.2%. Let me make this a percent. Okay, so then if we multiply that, so his, the annual limit that you pay up to times the rate, that's how much Bob would actually pay in self-employment tax. Now his employer is going to match that, they'll pay the other half. But, but the question's not asking us about the employer. Now, his entire amount is going to be subject to Medicare tax or the HI. And again, he's an employee, so he pays half and his employee or his employer pays half. Um, and, and so let me just, excuse me. Um, so then let me just change that to 1.45. So again, 2.9 is the total. Half of that would be paid by the employer and half of that would be paid by the employee. So again, we're gonna just multiply those, but now in this case, it's his entire wages. So that would be our total. So again, his, his uh, social security that he would pay is 888, $8,853.60. 8, and then again, his entire wage is gonna be subject to um, the Medicare withholdings at 1.45, so that would be his total. Okay, now if he's self-employed, he is not only the employer, he is the employee, both. So I mean, he's got both, he's got to cover both of it, but it's still to the same limit. But what changes here is that it's 12.4% because he's paying the same amount. So then now we'll multiply the, again the, the annual limit times the rate. And again, since he's self-employed, he has to pay both. So then that's going to be a total of $17,707.20. Now the Medicare, there is no limit. So he is still going to pay that, but now it goes up to the 2.9% because he's paying his half and then he's also paying the employer's half because he's self-employed. Um, now, what if he makes over the $200,000? you will see that the first part doesn't change. That is still um, the same amount. I'll just copy that formula down if I can do that. It lets me. But you can see that's still the same annual amount. That's the most that they're going to pay. Now, this gets higher. So um, up to two hundred, the $250,800, that whole amount is still subject to the 2.9%, so he's got to pay it all, but there's a little extra, anything over 200,000, so that would be 50,800, gets charged an extra 0.9%, 0.9%. So $457.20. So then he'd have to pay all three of those. And again, it's only the amount over the 200,000 that gets charged that extra um, 0.009 or 0.9%. Okay, then what if he's got a mix? So if he's got a mix, the 120,000 that he makes from his employer, he only pays 6.2%.
and then the employer would match that and pay their other half. So that would be that total there. Carry those down. Um, then the the remainder up to the limit. So again, we look back. Our limit's one hundred and forty two thousand eight hundred. So of that additional fifty thousand that he makes, twenty two thousand eight hundred is going to be subject to FICA, but at the full percentage. So then again, he's paying his his half, and then he's also the employer, so he has to pay that other half. So, but up again just to the annual limit, just up to that 142,800. Then for the um, for the uh, Medicare tax, the 120,000 that he makes with his employer is going to be at the 1.45% because again, he'll pay half and the employer will pay half. But then all of the 50,000 that he makes as, as a self-employed person will be at the 2.9%. So you really have to map each one of those out at that level and then again sum them if it's if if the question asks you well how much total tax are they paying you know you're going to have to total those up i just wanted to show it in the um, individual categories so you could see how they are computed and in total he'd be paying thirteen thousand four hundred and fifty seven dollars and twenty cents so hopefully that kind of explains the, the limit, again, because a lot of students struggle with that. And then the limit between, well, what if I'm self-employed? What if I, have an, if I have an employer? What if I'm a combination of them both?